And welcome back to Let's Play Lost in Blue 3. Time to try diving and hopefully not die horribly. So anyways, how diving works. Uh, you use L and R to move your arms, and then let go to swim down. Only problem is, there's kind of stuff there. Like sharks. If you don't hold down A when a shark is going by, he'll kill you. Like, immediately. And you push Y to switch between going down and going up. Also, if you run out of air, you'll also die. It's really easy to die while diving, so basically I'm holding down L and R, and then letting go to basically swim downwards. I have about a hundred seconds worth of air, which is honestly really impressive for... Oh, wait, hold breath. Hold A. Okay, we're good. If you don't hold your breath when the shark goes by, he'll instantly kill you. Luckily, you get a pretty good amount of time. We still have about 60-some seconds. We're almost to the bottom. Alright, so let's start digging. Uh, no, that's not what I want. There is one good... Oh, my inventory is full. Crap. Alright, heading back up. There is one thing you can get here, which is copper wires. This is the only other place other than, I think, the ship where you can get them. Also, going up is a lot faster than going down. So what did I actually get? Whoops. Uh... Wait, I already had water. I got a clam. Or sorry, an abalone. Alright, uh, I guess that's good enough. Also, I think I can get rid of this now. Except I can't throw it away. Never mind. Alright, it's time to head back. But yeah, we can die for uh, copper wires there. Those are gonna be important. So I kind of wish I had a few there, but they're actually relatively rare. Also, I checked all these, right? They're not blue. If they were blue, I would come back here more often, but they're not. So it's time to head back. Uh, I already used the hot spring on the way here, so we can't use it again today. Not sure why. But we have what we came for. Now hopefully the way back is pretty straightforward, because the poison gas does shift around during the day. Also I should probably keep my map up. Oh wait, I hear poison gas. Uh... No, this way's clear. Oh wait, it's a ledge. I can't climb up that. Never mind. Alright, guess we're heading the long way up. Uh, that's poison gas. Alright, backtracking. Looks like we're gonna have to go this way. Can I climb? No, I can't go over there. It's too high up. Also, I might as well go for some spices while I'm here. Come on, I know I can climb that. Huh. Guess not. Let's see. I know there's a point somewhere around here where I can climb. Uh, that's not it. Oh, wait, I see it now. What's my energy like? 24. Uh, we're still okay. Let's see, I can jump across over here, right? Yes, I can. That blue, purple. Of course I'll get the blue mushrooms. I think the blue ones are actually the rarest. Which kind of sucks. Like, last time I played it was the brown ones. And there are brown mushrooms, like, all over the place. Any wood? Nope. Alright, we're almost back. How's everyone doing back home? Uh, they're Actually, no, they're pretty good on water. And their energy levels are fine because they haven't been running around like I have. They're starving, though, but... Eh, you're always starving in this game. Although the fire might have gone out by the time I got back. Because I think I sent them both out to do stuff. Also, it's nighttime. Uh, we're not that far away from home. Shame there's no way to climb up that uh, giant ledge in the middle of the map. Oh well. I kind of wish I had brought James with me, so I can just climb up all these ledges really quickly. Oh, my energy's gone. I can't run anymore. Oh well. We're almost home. 
Hopefully we don't have to deal with bats. That would suck. And we're at 58%. We're good. That should be more than enough to get us back. It's going to take a little while, though. Alright, please no bats this time. I would love to just get back and not have to deal with them. Might as well grab some water. I kind of wish I had a second bottle. Although soon we won't really need to store water that much. We're going to get access to a pretty convenient water source. Still, they can't go out without you to get water, which is kind of annoying, but oh well. At least they're smart enough to drink water you have in reserve. Although in the morning, yeah, I'm going to need to water both of them. Alright, not too much further now. Almost there. Now actually, we still have like a whole field to get there. Although at least our health is holding up pretty well. Yeah, we could fish here too, but I don't have any inventory space. And we can't just hold a fish in our hands. That would be icky. Kinda wish I had left behind the fire starter though. Oh well. Almost there. Also it's cloudy so we can't tell what the moon is right now. It would have been helpful to know the tides. Alright, almost there. Just need to get to the break room. Almost. Alright, yeah, we're good. As soon as- oh wait, no, I'm stuck. As soon as we can get there. Here we go. Alright, I'm back. Is the fire out? Oh no, the fire's still going. Awesome. Also, the mugwort fixed her. That's actually a good question. Can you fix the plane so we can leave? Claire, now is not the... Okay, fine. She just gave me the water. Uh, James? Okay, fine. Now let's actually talk to her. Also, now she's a survivor among us. Even though she never actually told us her name, but her name is Kumiko. So let's talk about something. Tell me about the giant tree I found. So yeah, we can build a tree house in that giant tree, but... It's kind of far away from everything, and I don't want to do it. Considering the rest of the game is going to be taking place around this general area. Also, uh... Yeah, Jane's still carrying meat. I'll get it tomorrow. Let's see, can you tell me anything else? What's new? Nothing, okay. I'll explain Kumiko's thing tomorrow. Right now, though, I kind of need to eat and sleep before I die. Let's eat. So we'll have Claire. I think Kumiko is technically a better cook. Also, I'm just going to use that water. Actually, I'm just going to use everything I have. Although, I don't think we can make soup yet. Also, she's probably carrying that empty bottle I had. Here we go. We're a family now. One of us happens to be dying, though. I should probably fix that. Also, uh, Claire, give me back my bottle. I know you're holding on to it. Uh, hold on. Uh, give me that. You didn't even use it. I'm gonna go give it to James before he dies of dehydration. And then I am going to bed. Also, we can't, yeah, we can't use the oil drum here. So I'm gonna put that away. Also, don't need you, don't need you, don't need you. Alright, that's good. Drop off all my firewood. We have a good supply going now. James. You need to drink something. Here, drink this. 
How are you doing now? Okay, yeah, you're good. I did get my bottle back, right? Yes, I did. Good. It's not like the first game where they'll actually take the bottle and you have to take it back out. But I think we should sleep. Alright, we're in pretty good shape now. Claire needs water, though. Of course it's raining. We kind of want to go out later. But James, let me have that meat you're carrying before it goes bad. Yeah, you're carrying meat. Gimme. Apparently you killed a deer at some point. Good for you. Alright, Kumiko. Let's hear what you have to say. Or not. Fine. Alright, we'll do with uh, stuff with her in a minute. I am going to take her over here, though. I don't remember if you need copper wires for this part. But basically what Kumiko does is she lets you fix stuff. Uh, we're going to need a code for that. Alright, we're going to head back to that... Actually, wait. Do we have any other memos on us that we haven't used yet? Let me see. Also, I should probably get everyone tasked with stuff. Uh, we don't need food right now. So, you know what, James? You're staying home today. Claire, you are gonna go get water. Alright, anyways. So, Claire's gonna go get water. Kumiko, actually come with me. I think I remember which room. Uh, let me see. I think it's this room we need to bring her over over here. That's the problem with this game sometimes. It doesn't really tell you where you need to bring people to trigger events. So let me see. Is it this room? No, it's not this room. Let's look in the other rooms. Uh, I think it's one of the middle ones then. I know one of these rooms you have to bring her to. To get codes for other rooms in the area. Let's try these ones. Uh, is it the- I'm stuck. Is it this one? Uh, oh wait, no, this one's locked, isn't it? Yeah, it's locked with a nine-digit code. We can't get into that one for a while. Uh, this door is broken. Kumiko can fix it, but we don't have any wires with us. So yeah, now we get the option to fix it. We're gonna need three copper wire. So we'll come back later once we have that. Let's see. Let's try this room over here. I think this one's open. Uh, yes it is. So anyway, yeah, this is the room. Once she's revived, this will appear. So yeah, apparently they were doing animal testing in this area. And our mom got probably mauled by a leopard. That would explain some of the animals around here, like that snake who really hates us. But now that we're here, there's a portable radio here. This is the key to one of the endings, not the ending we're gonna get. And it's almost dead. Oh well. But we have a working radio now? Let's see. Radio. So yeah, we can turn it, but we really don't want to mess with it because we have to worry about battery power. We're not going to use it until we get a frequency of any kind. But there should be something over here now. Oh. Huh, there's a portable radio and a wad in the lake. Good to know. Alright, so, code is, I'm gonna write this down. 096250. Okay. I don't think they actually give you that code if you don't come back here. So actually, let's remember that. But I've never had that trigger without Kumiko. 
All right, let's head back there real quick. Also, at some point, I want to make a trip to the ship, that old uh, sunken ship, to start getting some copper wire. Actually, I'll probably go today. But this is probably the most important door in the entire base. So the code was 096... What else? 250. 250. There we go. Alright, and with, under this door... Is an underground lake. This lake is good because it has a drinking spot. So now we have a place really close to home. So now drinking won't be that big of a problem. Also, that is a giant catfish. Huh, sounds like we dropped a card at some point. Maybe we should look for it later. Alright, let's take a quick look around the area. There's not much to see here. We can get rocks here pretty easily. There's a spot up there we'll look at later. And over here, I think there's another door. Yep, broken door. What do we need to fix this one? Uh, three copper wire. Yeah, we are not gonna do that for a while. Alright, let's head back. I'm gonna go drop off Kumiko back home so I can have her do stuff for me. She's in really good shape, at least. Apparently being unconscious, she's still pretty full. Although we did eat pretty well last night for once. So I'm gonna go drop her off at home. And then I'm gonna go out and grab some copper wire from the sunken ship. Cause once Kumiko awakens, that should start spawning. Is James back yet? Oh wait no, James stayed home, that's right. It's Claire back yet. No, she is not. All right, Kumiko. So I want you to go get, also we can ask her to fix stuff without us, but we need to give her the ingredients. And by ingredients, I mean lots of copper wire. Uh, She's not as good as James when bringing back food. She'll mostly bring back fish. You know what, screw it, bring me back some food. Try not to bring back anything poisonous. James, I will be back. And I think that's actually a good place to stop. So next time on Let's Play Lost in Blue 3, I'm going to start collecting copper wire and we're going to start unlocking some of these doors. Because there's a lot to see in this lab. And there are a lot of doors. So until next time.